Hello there to all readers of the Ring Cedar series of Russia. Yeah, I, I'm sitting here with Rita from Russia. <laughs> we are beside the settlement Slavnoye. Uh, the settlement uh, is called... Living Picture. Living Picture Living will be picture. the yes. English <laughs> name. Yeah. A very beautiful settlement also. The, the other day you, you, to, you told me that um, until the age of 15, mm -hmm. you were quite trapped somehow. Well, I, I think um, you could say so, yes, <laughs> and not only me. Um, most of the children are trapped um, by their parents' good wishes for them. And uh, my parents, they wish the best for me and thank them. I thank them very much. Uh, because my mother found me a great teacher, so I can talk to you right <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, and uh, I had a wonderful opportunity to become a musician. I mm, learned to play the piano since I was six years old. And uh, I really, <laughs> I don't regret anything in my mm -hmm. life, really. But uh, I must say that when I reached the age of 15, I, I felt that I have to make a really important decision about my life. Because uh, before that age, I didn't really question anything I did. I didn't question any uh, of my time for myself because I, well, I basically lived like my parents wanted me to. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I guess most of the kids do as mm -hmm. well. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so yes, when I reached some age, when I started to have questions about life, about how different people live, are they happy? Uh, do they have happy families? Do they mm -hmm. really meet true love? Or is it all just an illusion or uh, you know, like lying to yourself mm. about being happy well mm -hmm. not being happy at all mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> I began to see my own parents relationships in a different view and uh, from a different position from a position of a uh, woman who suddenly realized that she is a future woman and she will want to have her man and fall in love with someone and uh, it was all really confusing for me because I needed answers to my questions and my parents couldn't give me the answers. Mm. I, I started to look for them everywhere in the books because I love to read really much and uh, I tried to find an example for me, the, in, an example of uh, lifestyle, of the family, of happy family, of uh, relationships in which both people are happy and not making any sacrifices that mm -hmm. make them unhappy, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so, at that moment, uh, a very important thing happened and I... Um, somehow I found the books about Anastasia and uh, uh, what she described in her story and uh, what she talks about. I felt that it was so real and so mm. true that it you know it filled my heart with joy and with uh, a very clear purpose of what my life really must be and <laughs> it was it was it was so beautiful and so uh, so inspiring that i guess i uh, i felt enough courage and strength inside me to think about changing my life very <laughs> radically mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, not being afraid of, uh, you know, uh, not getting an education like mm -hmm. most of people have to and not getting a normal job or 
not even uh, getting an uh, approval from my parents and uh, relation, you know, <laughs> other relatives. Uh, it all became unimportant because if all if being all these things that they wanted me to be, if it all meant that I will be unhappy and uh, all my life will be just someone else's, uh, you know, illusions, mm -hmm. it, it didn't seem right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that I think that was the moment when I started to to end many things in my life that were important for me before that. And I started to find new things, new people, new friends who could uh, help me. And uh, that mm -hmm. was uh, at the time when I uh, I was uh, I studied at home, so I was mm -hmm. house schooled or homeschooled. Homeschooled, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 therefore, I didn't really social uh, socialize. I couldn't mm -hmm. socialize very easily with the people when I went to the music college after that. Uh, it was all very, well, a bit hard for me to, <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, get myself interested in the things that interested, interested it people of my age, because I, I wanted to think about serious things like family and love and relationships and uh, mm. the global uh, happiness, you know, and everything and. Uh, uh, girls at 15 or 16 around me, they usually thought about, uh, I don't know, clothes or mm -hmm. makeup or anything mm -hmm. which didn't interest me at all. Mm -hmm. So um, I went to the internet and I found the website about uh, Anastasia and there was a forum where people communicated okay, and yeah. uh, they found each other, found their soulmates and uh, someone they could do so any well they could do together really great things mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I started to uh, I started to talk to those people and uh, I I guess I I found hope for for me and uh, mm -hmm. a way to create my own future as I wanted it uh, a different way from the system that mm -hmm. I had to integrate in, you know, and earn money and something else. So, mm -hmm. uh, really, I found that there is no problem in earning money, and I could do that even without having a paper about my education uh, finished and everything. So mm -hmm. I didn't finish it. <laughs> in the end, I dropped out of the music college after three years of studying there. Intentionally. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I, I stopped and. Uh, it all coincidentally uh, yeah. happened. Uh, my hands began to mm, uh, hurt mm -hmm. uh, in these places okay. because I played a lot and not always in a healthy state. When you mm -hmm. have a high temperature, you, you must not play at all because it can have very bad um, results afterwards. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't matter okay. really. <laughs> I think the, the main thing was that my soul didn't want it. So. Yes, and I found a group of people who wanted to um, to find their place on Earth and uh, to be happy there and to make something, well, at least a bit closer to what Anastasia described because, of course, we are not uh, on that level of uh, consciousness or ability to love everything and create something as great and beautiful as she described but well we um we try to oh, it's a very good start <laughs> yes. what you're doing what we i try. can see well yeah. you build your own house a uh, very beautiful straw yes. bale house have uh, already established nice gardens yeah it, have it, bees it, it, <laughs> it was uh, my dream from mm -hmm. that age so i guess yeah well uh, <laughs> and so in in 2012 Mm -hmm. You you moved here. I mean, now you're 25. Yes. yes so yes, so uh, when yeah. you're 22 when years, you started to live on your own uh, family yes. homestead. Yes, that that was uh, eventually the place where I felt myself at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, when uh, me and my husband we came here uh, in this particular place, and uh, <coughs> it was a feeling when 
you know that you don't have to go anywhere else. Mm. You just, you know, you came where you are mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. where you wanted to. You reached the, the point where you can start everything and create something beautiful. Mm -hmm. Something for your future, for your children, uh, or, I don't know, for, for the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. A very small <laughs> part of the planet, but anyway. Um, if everyone will think about it as a small part of a huge environment, I think we can change everything. Mm. Yes. Great. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, what's so now you're busy and uh, you're finishing. Uh, you're We're in process of life. Oh, you're in yes. process of life. So <laughs> We're not really busy, I can't okay. say so. Okay, so you enjoy your life yeah. now? And yes, uh, uh, mm -hmm. we, we were busy, really busy, when we were in the building state and we mm -hmm. wanted to build as fast as, I, as we could because, uh, you know, we started in August and mm -hmm. <laughs> the climate here is not really welcome for builders mm -hmm. in autumn, like in autumn. October or November, okay. it's already very cold very and it cold. can be very rainy and wet mm -hmm. and especially for the straw bale house, uh, the rain, it's a catastrophe, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. so we had to hide uh, under a huge tent uh -huh. all our house. Ah, uh, you build a huge tent for the yes, straw bales. For yeah. the straw bales, yes, mm -hmm. and we built our house only on the sunny and dry days. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, and well, that was before we managed to put the roof yeah. over it. But, yes, but, after you, that. but already in 2012, you yes. built the roof also. Yes, yes, yeah. we started in August uh, yes. and uh, we made uh, the foundation uh, in August. And mm -hmm. uh, on September the 1st, we got our straw bales <laughs> and started building the walls. Yeah. <laughs> it wow. was uh, almost... Uh, you know, insane because nobody starts building a house on the so, first of so September. So late, yeah, September. it's uh, really the, uh, almost <laughs> the was, end of the season, was, and then we started. Insane, yes. Wow! But, but you succeeded. But still. we were, <laughs> we were, yes, amazing, we were amazing, mad enough <laughs> to do that. <laughs> uh, we had, uh, of course, we had our friends who came and helped us, but basically, it was our, you know, dream to build a house with our own hands, and I never. You know, I, I never, I never felt myself happier than when I, you know, mixed my hands mm -hmm. in clay and uh, straw and uh, mm -hmm. uh, did all this. Mm -hmm. Even it was, if it was cold and wet and <laughs> not really <laughs> funny, but uh, rather hard yeah. work. But you know, it, it is. It, yeah. it was Great. worth everything. Wow, amazing! Yeah, and <laughs> yes. the, the energy is really good of the house, and it's yeah. beautiful and bright. Yes. Yeah. It feels I had an cozy image in my head, warm. you know, when, when we did it, mm -hmm. I had an image and I told my husband when he, you know, sort of was very tired and said, oh, maybe we should pay the money and ask someone to build something, you know. <laughs> he? He? Uh, <laughs> yes, okay. yes. Well, uh -huh. mm, yeah. it is what a woman should do. She mm -hmm. should inspire her man. Oh. And I always said him, to him, well, imagine that you have a son and mm -hmm. he and he asks you who built your house, mm -hmm. who built my house, mm -hmm. and you can tell your son that you did it, that wow. you built the house. Mm -hmm. you, you can't imagine how important it is wow. for your son to hear this, mm -hmm. because it, it means so, so many things at mm -hmm. once. It means mm -hmm. that it's easy and you will do this easily yourself. Mm -hmm. It means that you know, your dad loved you so much that he wanted to build the house himself so mm -hmm. that you will be happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to cry now. <laughs> mm, that's good. That's very... Right. Oh. Um, yes, and... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I never thought that a woman is such a, you know, gl glossy creature who, who can't move a hand to build something real and solid on this planet. I, I, I was... You know, I wasn't afraid of anything, so mm -hmm. that was really a great time. Yes. <laughs> so, so obviously, and uh, yeah, your words gave him a lot of strength. Yes, huh, that did. he really <laughs> moved yes. on, and then you finished <laughs> it. Of course, we, we <laughs> had weekends, and uh -huh. uh, you can't work hard without having any rest. You mm -hmm. have to rest, and you have to be happy. You have to go for walks mm -hmm. and just uh, absorb the beauty around you. And mm -hmm. 
But you were, during your build, yes. you were still uh, living in the tent. Yes, partly. in a tent, and then yeah. uh, partly we s we slept in our car, yeah. which uh, Amazing, which yeah. was yes, which yeah. was big oh. enough for us. <laughs> we're not very Amazing. tall, so uh -huh. maybe you would be uncomfortable there, but uh, we were mm. fine. <laughs> yes. So, and uh, mm. <coughs> what? How about uh, the cost of the house? The material cost. What do you estimate? It, it was uh, really um, much less than many people mm -hmm. well, spent on their houses here because we didn't really have much, a lot of money, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, mm, sort of counted everything and we decided to make a small house. Well, because the uh, the wood here is. Uh, cut in uh, six meter length ah. we decided to make it six by six ah, so okay. to not to cut anything mm -hmm. not to do any you know, mm -hmm. any work, extra any extra work, work yes mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, six by six yes mm. and uh, we made a wooden foundation uh, an experimental one <laughs> which <laughs> no one could understand and uh, people thought that we are crazy and our house won't live for uh, five or ten years it will be you know, very um, it won't be safe enough or mm -hmm. uh, long living enough or anything but well basically we had enough information mm -hmm. we surfed the internet very actively and we looked for any information any uh, other experiences of other people who built like that and uh, eventually we found uh, a film about uh, self-carrying straw bale houses mm -hmm. um, a film I think it was filmed in Canada mm -hmm. or in North America somewhere there and uh, a friend gave it to us it was all very magical really so when when we wanted to build a house like that a friend came and uh, gave us a film and we managed to see the whole process and to be more uh, uh, when you say more conf confident about what we are going to do <laughs> good yeah. yes that was very important and then we uh, went to a building site where um, Another friend of ours was building a straw bale house, but mm -hmm. with a wooden construction around it. And we uh, we got a chance to feel the plaster and to see how it is made and mixed and uh, how what do you do with it mm -hmm. afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, because straw bale houses are not really very common in Russia and uh, especially self-carrying ones. Uh, people usually they're scared mm -hmm. to build something mm, that they're not sure about uh, that was not built in you know generations before him and what we did was altogether crazy and new and <laughs> absolutely didn't guarantee any results mm -hmm. any you know, <laughs> no insurance at all so uh, well yeah we managed to do that <laughs> somehow <laughs> Uh, of course, first uh, the, in the first year we had only uh, only one uh, room in which we put a small stove, and we lived right there. Uh, uh, next year, that that will be yes, next year, 2013, we managed to start making um, additional uh, you know, apartments <laughs> made from wood. Uh, just for storing things and uh, for adding some space to our life. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year we uh, eventually we made uh, the last uh, layer of plaster, of lime plaster, mm -hmm. and our house eventually is now white and beautiful as yes. it as it was, uh -huh. you know, yes, as it yeah. should be. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great. So yeah, but we are in process and really. Mm -hmm. Uh, the main thing that we learned while living here is that there is no place to hurry and your time is your time. You can take it and move at your pace. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So if you if you don't build your house in in one year, there's nothing bad about it being built slowly year after mm -hmm. year and uh, the main you know the main purpose of all this is to live happily and mm -hmm. if you 
make yourself too busy and hard to working here and it makes you unhappy <laughs> that mm -hmm. that you know it, it kills the whole purpose of yeah. being yes, here yes, yes. Mm -hmm. that's what many people are yes, unfortunately uh, they put themselves into uh, an unhappy environment and too much hard work uh, mm -hmm. too too many things they want to do at once mm -hmm. like uh, you know are you speaking of general people or of no, not I, of I, I, i'm speaking oh. of the settlers of, ah. the, of the of the people who want to live awesome. okay in like their own house and land okay yes. mm -hmm. So they give themselves too much pressure yes, with too much um, pressure. feeling <laughs> they want to get this and done now, yes, the house yes. and orchard and the lake, everything, yes, the yes, everything. <laughs> as the fast garden, as possible. The, no? the flower yeah, yeah. beds, the house, and the children. On the way, <laughs> and the way they enjoy to enjoy it. No? Yes. It's like um, you, wa you want to go to a, a mountain high yeah. up <laughs> and uh, you just look for the top instead yes. of enjoying this beautiful yes, pass, no? path, yes. and, and you just That's run it. and run and don't look to the side. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's true, we should uh, check to the side and enjoy the flower on the yeah, road and, the and enjoy every moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, yes. I think, a very good a very insight you have. Yeah. And uh, when you live here, uh, <coughs> it is much easier to learn and uh, notice the life around you and live happily when um, when I lived in the city, it was much harder for me to do this because in the city you're always in very solid uh, time mm -hmm. schedule and everything mm -hmm. you have to do on time, you have to be there and, and there and somewhere else. Even if you're not working or you're not studying, mm -hmm. <laughs> the city itself, it makes you run around <laughs> mm -hmm. in different places. Yeah. Otherwise, you're stuck in the apartment and mm. you don't know what to do and where yes, to go. Yes. But, but here you have your space, no? You yes, can yes. Well, space. explore your garden. And yeah. yeah, everything Work changes every project. day, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, at first I thought that our piece of land is small and I had so many um, you know, plans. But how big is it? A hectare? A hectare and a half, and a half. yes, one and a half. Uh, but uh -huh. we have... Um, we have um, uh, empty spaces between each uh, uh, between neighbors, mm -hmm. so it's a bit uh, smaller than one and a half. Uh, we okay. have two meters okay. of, of uh, two meters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Inside, inside from from our yes from our okay. borderline, okay. we okay. measure two meters inside. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, empty spaces all around it. Okay. So. Well, different people could uh, walk around safely and okay. not uh, intrude into our space, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like a okay. pathways. Good, good. <laughs> yes. Well, I think it's a very wise thing to do. <laughs> but, uh, but it's big enough, you think, yes, now, right? Yes, it is. Yes. No, <laughs> I think it is. Because mm -hmm. uh, at first we thought that we wanted to, uh, to have a horse and mm -hmm. we want to have uh, some other animals, mm -hmm. I don't know, a goat or mm -hmm. a chicken or... Uh, we, w I wanted to plant lots of uh, exotic trees and plants, and uh, they need space. And mm -hmm. uh, I thought, oh, how how little space I have! <laughs> okay. I can plant only, uh, I don't yeah. know, three hundred trees, and <laughs> I want to plant a thousand <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, now I think it's everything is enough, and uh -huh. I really have okay. uh, enough uh, free space and mm -hmm. empty land mm -hmm. to. Good. To move, or to move on. Do you still yes. want to have uh, animals? Um, I don't. I'm not sure about it. No. Right now, we. I. Th I think. Uh, we are, in a very important state of, uh, uh, creating our relationships uh, with uh, the nature and plants, the plant world. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to start <laughs> my relationships with uh, animals. I, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure about their purpose in my life right now because mm -hmm. um, I don't see them right now, mm -hmm. really. Okay. Uh, so, and it's very serious for me because I, you know, uh, it, it will be my, uh, what do you say? <laughs> um, it would be like it takes up a lot of no, your I mean I mean attention. when you when, when you when you take when you invite an animal to mm -hmm. live with you mm -hmm. you you are you know 
it's and almost like a baby. You're, responsible. Yes, you're, you're responsible. responsible. you're responsible, of course. Yes. Very well, responsible I, I, indeed. I, I, it's like children yes, almost to it. some degree. And I feel this great responsibility and yes. I'm not sure that I'm ready for it mm -hmm. right now because uh, I already feel that every tree that I planted is my child mm -hmm. and the responsibility is huge enough mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> in that. Okay. <laughs> so, when, yes. And also, you know, um, yes, it's uh, quite like, likely that there will come some animals to you even Maybe, in, yes. when you're ready or when life Rabbits thinks you're ready <laughs> exactly around. but it, it, it could even <laughs> it, it can happen in so many ways i mean yes, yes. friends of mine they, they yeah they received they didn't want to have intentionally oh. animals but a, a dog came to them and yeah, stayed or a cat or even a bird who we was had, injured for example we had a cat who came uh -huh. to us when we lived and built our house in the camp and then it left just somewhere on its way, so it lived with us for several months. Mm. It was really, yeah, very great. Um, uh, you know, it's exactly the same with children. I, I, I think that I'm uh, in a state of waiting for mm -hmm. the right, uh, the right state of my, you know, my mind, my soul, my heart, and. Uh, to feel myself completely ready mm -hmm. to invite the child in this world, because uh, if I if I don't feel myself ready, if I if I'm not completely you know open, mm -hmm. for yeah, this, if you only do it from your head, yes, no, from not my head, because from the full heart, because you should do this, exactly, which many people do the, actually, the people because they think they, they might ask be yourself, when are you going exactly, to they they might think <laughs> from the head, yeah, <laughs> maybe I'm getting too old, yes, you know, yes, so, so I have to do it now. Yeah. And but the, you so know, it's not uh, from the, the heart really, no? And they, not yeah, fully. they capture themselves into mm -hmm. uh, into constant hurry somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On the other hand, I mean, uh, the people might think, well, you have easy to talking, and you speak easy about it because you're 25 years old. Mm, well, my <laughs> husband is not. He's 32, and he's yeah. a bit panicky about it. Really? <laughs> but but I, I you know, when you live when you live the healthy better. lifestyle, I mean, uh, you can live 150 oh, years. Absolutely, and uh, I, I I know people. Well, my friend Svetlana, she's uh, 37, and she gave birth to her son last year, and mm -hmm. well, he's completely healthy, and it was. Absolutely, it was. She said that it was much more easy for her and uh, much more, mm -hmm. you know, harmonious and enjoyable than the birth of her first son when mm -hmm. she was like uh, 29 mm -hmm. or whatever, okay. so much younger. And mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. yeah, yes. so it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything will happen in its right moment, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So and now you're. you're you're creating yourself, you keep going, creating yourself a good uh, <laughs> life and a good yes. uh, future for, for yourself, your family and yes, whole and of humanity, huh? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, yes, I would be uh, really happy to visit uh, different places on our planet where people do the same. Mm -hmm. It would be so interesting for me because mm -hmm. I always... Uh, I always thought of it as a, a, you know, a great thing to do, and uh, like a, so it's like a global movement. Yes, huh? yes, to, to feel yourself a part of something global, mm -hmm. and uh, to make a change to the world. Uh, you know, doing small things make a big thing all together mm -hmm. in the end. And uh, I always thought of uh, living this way. Uh, like n not just you know the way of life so uh, I didn't want it to be well the only purpose of it I didn't want the only purpose of it to be just life in a good place somewhere in the beautiful nature you know and raise healthy children although it is all very good yes but it, it is not enough it, it's just something natural that will happen yes and uh, it's not something that you should stop at. You should mm -hmm. go further and mm -hmm. uh, higher and you know mm -hmm. think globally yeah. because uh, when you think of yourself as a human person, a human being, it's not really true because we are all one great being, all, mm -hmm. all, all human beings, you know yes. all, all living yeah. beings mm -hmm. even. 
So if you feel yourself a part of something oh. great, it helps mm -hmm. to see. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, when when the whole earth is surrounded with beautiful gardens, yes. uh, it it, it yeah. will. It will uh, fe <laughs> feel also, I mean, also for yourself, it will just feel much better. No? Yes. Mm. I mean, also, it, it, this shouldn't be just for, for Russia. No? That, yes, uh, of course. No, when no, Russia is Russia. a paradise, but the <laughs> other world, China uh, uh, or I'm whatever still sure pollutes the uh, I'm not really sure that Russia will be first to, to reach the paradise <laughs> yeah. state. Well, it's in, the, in the books <laughs> it says so. No? But in the books, yes. It's, uh, but it it's, it's, it's not really the most important thing because yeah, it should no. happen everywhere at the same time already yes, yes. But, uh, well, but it seems also Bhutan is making good progress yes, as you know we no? hope so yeah, they, 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 they want to be the first uh, organic country yeah. like really 100% organic country yes, no? yes mm. that's great but overall we, we are seeing quite some uh, positive changes happening yes, they are mm. I, I, I've noticed that uh, in the last few years I uh, well, I see a, a huge and uh, a rise of uh, well, vegetarian mm -hmm, movement mm -hmm. and vegan movement and mm -hmm. uh, ecological-minded, you know, people and uh, people who want to do something for someone else, for their city, for the earth, for you know, mm -hmm. for the planet or for some other people at least. <laughs> so for animals it's it's so inspiring just to see this and the world is changing already mm -hmm. yes. yes and every every yes. one of us every our thought every our word and every you know every moment that we live happily and filled with love inside it changes everything because mm -hmm. yes everything is <laughs> okay. everything is alive around oh. us so then uh, this means also yeah f especially f for the people who don't have the own land yet, yes. right? That they, they also. Yes, it's very, yeah. very important for us to show them uh, another way of life. Mm -hmm. uh, on, and on the other hand, I don't think that uh, everyone should live like this. Mm. No, it's absolutely. Being happy <laughs> is uh, the foundation yes, of being happy everything. Is first, the most important. Yes, wherever you are, wherever mm -hmm. you live, even mm -hmm. in the city or in the country or mm -hmm. somewhere else. So, mm -hmm. yes, I yeah. wish everyone <laughs> would feel happy. <laughs> yeah, good. I also wish everyone <laughs> yes. would feel happy and we will do our best to yes, create we this world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you a lot for no, this thank sharing. Thank you for coming. It yeah. was really, yes, it was like a breath of fresh air, <laughs> as I said. <laughs> breath of fresh air, great. <laughs> because, yes, uh, for me, uh, English language is mm -hmm. like my second own language, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, I always loved just the sound of it mm -hmm. and uh, I loved my teacher and in fact she was the first live vegetarian that mm -hmm. I had chance to communicate with and okay. uh, she was like an example for mm -hmm. me I, I didn't think about her lifestyle till I grew up but now I, I guess that she must have influenced me and she mm -hmm. showed me another way to live as well Good. Good. That's what we do to each other. Oh, <laughs> you, maybe you can send her nice greetings if you want that. Oh. Maybe she sees it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I would like to thank my teachers uh, and all the people who um, who I met on my on my way of life, and um, every one of them was my teacher, and. Um, I <laughs> I love you all very much <laughs> and be happy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, and I send nice greetings to all people uh, who see this, <laughs> whoever you are. Yes, I wish too. you very, very well and wish you the best. <laughs> see you. <laughs>